uh yeah anyways man uh welcome uh welcome to my uh new experiment my podcast uh this is uh you know what is this uh to the fullest with jason froberg we got melissa larue it's me hello it's good to see you it's good to see you too so she's been uh, amazing all day long, helping me get uh, reestablished and uh, set up here. We did a uh, we did a great podcast last night with my uh, my good friend Jerry Pesh. Worked out a lot of bugs, found a lot of bugs. It was uh, it was a fun, very late night, and uh, Melissa was kind enough to help me yeah. test some equipment. And uh, here we are doing our little up. podcast. So what you been up to? I've been just hanging out well i just moved to las vegas and you know that so i moved here in january from portland oregon so i'm still getting established but i'm liking it way better oh yeah yeah the people suck out there sorry guys um but i now have my family support here which you mama d my brothers so i'm stoked it's you know it's been a nice transition yeah, it's good to have the family as like a circle out here, you know. It's, I mean, it's that kind of support really helps. Yeah, I'm good to hang out with the weirdos, so that's <laughs> good. A lot of weirdos out here, you know. Yeah, I mean, I mean it, it is what it is. <laughs> but I've been doing that. I'm currently in school. I'm doing medical administration. Nice. Co- college nice. again, so it's pretty hard, but hanging in there. Yeah. That's awesome. You know, the medical administration, that's a, that's a great field to go into. There's always so much work to so be done. So hard. I'm doing statistics right now. And I, yeah. <laughs> statistics? Statistics, yeah. Hel- oh. Healthcare statistics. That is uh, far more advanced math than I ever got to. I should probably get on that. I, uh, I haven't done uh, nearly enough math studying. Well, neither have I. Pretty much cheated the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I, I'm, yeah, I'm uh, definitely not going to take the t- uh, class again. Oh um, yeah. Yeah. Luckily, it's online and no one can watch me. So. Uh, well, there you go. You yeah. Know. Gotta get, gotta get it done. Gotta get it done. I don't mind. Yeah, I was, uh, I was messing around with that uh, MIT edX courses. Oh. And I started my core math again basic addition and subtraction and started working my way up into the the pre-algebra and the algebra and that's where i'm at right now is the algebra stuff i actually took too long i got kind of busy and it expired i gotta start over again it sucks or like pay for it you know they're like 50 bucks a class and then you don't have to fucking uh you know do it all at once in like a few weeks yeah you know it's worth it but math sucks Math does suck, but it sucks. That is what it is. Yeah, you know, you need it for the other stuff you want to do. You know, all those prerequisites. Yeah, I know. Gosh, no. deciding to do a medical degree, somewhat medical degree. You know. <laughs> Quote unquote. Quote unquote. <laughs> I ain't no doctor. Uh, doctor. but it's good. It's good. It's a it's a real job. It's a skill that's gonna you know pay off the rest of your life and give you retirement and you know benefits. Hopefully. You yeah. know that kind of shit. And it's important. It is. Uh, it is. But yeah, that's pretty much what I've been doing right now. That's awesome. That's awesome. Uh, yeah, I heard. Uh, I heard the uh, VA finally paid to to have your back fixed. You've been having problems yeah. with your back forever. I know that they t- finally took care of you, which I'm so stoked. Congratulations about that. Thanks. I'm a cyborg. So um, yeah, three spine surgeries later, I got a spinal cord stimulator implant. Um, so yeah it's weird i'm constantly buzzing (laughs) so it's like a tens unit but inside my back and it's really weird because i'll just be sitting there and be like you get a little jolt of uh electricity oh really yeah so i can't do tens unit like i can't have anything that has to do with electricity on my like on my body or i'll just like short out Oh, yeah. It's so really no, weird. like, what is it? The the matrix, the electric magnetic pulse. Yeah. That should yeah, take you down, huh? Oh no, yeah. Oh, I know your out. weakness now. <laughs> I know. No, I have a weakness. Oh, yeah. that's the, great. It took about seven years, and the VA finally is doing what they're supposed to be doing. That's great to hear. You know, it's good to hear whenever they take care of our troops. You know, yeah, coming I home, know. it's a lot. You know, you guys give to the uh, country. 
making sure we get to live in Candyland over here. I and know. I complain mean, about the most, uh, you know, ridiculous things we can think of to complain about because we got no real problems. It's it's pretty beautiful thing. You I know, mean, thank you for your service, by the thanks. way. Thanks. Yeah. I mean, um, I spent eight years active dating the Marines, which is still crazy to me that I did it. Um, I mean, you know, I left home when I was six, about 16, 17, and then got out when I was like 25, I think. I don't want to do the math. I, we just said we don't like to do math, so I'm not going to do the math for us. Um, Who does math anymore? Yeah. That's what you got an iPhone for. I know. I know. Calculators. Yes. If, if we only knew when we were in you oh, know, know. Se- second, third grade. <laughs> we're like, we don't need this shit. You know, we're going to have a little thing in our pocket that does all Easy. this stuff for us. I can even do... I'm I'm guilty of even like... It's like a, such as the simplest like math equation. And <laughs> I still... Eight. I just, you know, I pull out my fucking phone and I use my calculator because I'm stupid and lazy. Yeah. I mean, it's okay, though. Um, let's see. What else did I... Got out. Just a little background. So I know we're, that way we're, like, talking and everyone knows the context of what we're talking about. Yeah. Uh, got out of the Marines. Um, became a chef. Went to school. Got my bachelor's degree in that and business and culinary degree. And was a chef for about five, six, seven years. I don't remember. And then um, my back problems ha- happened, so I stopped doing that. Um, and then I've been, yeah, pretty much that's business-wise. Uh, um, it's Friday the 13th, if no one knows. <laughs> and so um, if you guys can see on one of this the cameras my shirt creepy queen that's my my moniker right the creepy uh creepy coffee creep show yes that you do yeah so um i for the i don't know how many years it's been on tv it's been a long time um right now it's on amazon prime but tv show called creepy coffee movie time creepy coffee movie time that's on amazon prime it is it's oh on amazon prime. i'm gonna be watching that shit for it's sure the first five seasons are on um on there right now not the seasons that i'm on because yeah. i started it later yeah um I think I started getting on there in season seven, eight. I don't know. So we have to remaster them and for Amazon Prime and do closed captioning. So it's like the, their law. So Oh, yeah. But we have the first five seasons. So Creep Coffee Movie Time, we show B, C, D, F, all the letters, horror films, sci-fi films. That's so great. Um, Like Frankenstein. Frankenstein's daughter's niece stuff like that like absolutely ridiculous um a lot of old Vincent Price you got um I love Vincent Price we got you know Bella Lugosi's old movies not like the f- super famous ones that like they're all public access because that's what you can get without paying for them right or if you know um we had one episode uh we did filmed for um, showing Cannibal Holocaust, which if you haven't seen that, I have. It is a brutal, amazing horror film that is actually still in a lot of countries forbidden to show because they think it's actually a smut film and that real people and animals were killed. Yeah. So we did that the day it was supposed to air. We got a cease and desist. Ah, and good old cease and desist. Yes, we, I think I'm we, always proud when I get a cease and desist. Oh yeah, we. I mean, we were like, oh, we made it. We oh, really yeah. made it to the yeah. big times where someone actually noticed it. Yeah. And uh, I was like, okay, so you know, we still sell the episode, but we can't. We couldn't air it. Uh, and it was one of the best. But um, on the show, it's a variety show as well. So there's you know, hot girls. There's we have science time. Um, comedians and like a segment called 60 seconds of horniness that's interesting yeah um it's we would get like little odd stripper girls or uh dancers from san francisco and they'd come and do like you know with like weird head animal heads on s- weird outfits and they would dance for 60 seconds and you know it's like sort of like super fun uh panda time on south park right? yeah yeah um it's just really well, you know, odd. I did it once, but I asked them to do 60 seconds of awkwardness. <laughs> Just danced, danced awkwardly. Um, uh, that, um, from that show um, spawned another show called Circus of Chaos, which is also um, a show that I've done. 
which is um, a variety show. We do have it's a horror theme too. I mean, it's it has clowns on it. We do it ha- it's a, it's so weird what I've been on. Um, there's like fetish stuff that they, we have um, a dominatrix that's on there. And uh, she, we would have like fetish things, and like one episode, it was Melissa Philia, and you know my name is Melissa. Melissa Philia. So, and that has to do with bees. Yeah, I was gonna say, uh, what what exactly is Melissa Philia? It's uh, it's a fetish of bees being stung by bees, because oh. Melissa actually is honeybee, okay, in Greek. So it's it's yeah, it's a fetish of being stung by bees. Uh, it's a fetish of, so they are, like, into it. Yeah. They want those fucking bees getting down, Be- huh? Yeah, or just, like, the object of being stuck. <laughs> so that's Melissa Fillion. I like it. Um, yeah. It's something d- for everybody out there. Oh, it, it's, oh, gosh. it's It was great being on the shows because you just get to meet so many weird-ass people. <laughs> and, you know, I mean, that, you know, stemmed a lot of things I've got to do and people I got to hang out with. Um I think we were talking about earlier just meeting people and getting to hang out with random celebrities and I you know that stem went from the TV show and we get invited to horror conventions um get, getting to hang out with Bruce Campbell I did an interview for him that's awesome I love Bruce oh, I love Bruce no, he's that's why my cat's named Bruce because Bruce Campbell <laughs> well, I got him on video. Um, that's also on YouTube of him saying that I can be his personal sponge beater. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, okay. Um, but getting to do the conventions, um, I also help uh, with horror conventions in Sacramento. Um, I do a l- obviously. I've done a lot. Um, S- Sinister Creature Con's the big one. Um, and then from there, I do um, now, other than the school, I do uh, judging for horror film festivals. Oh, fun, fun. I'm trying to get into some horror film festivals myself. I have a, uh, a shitty B horror movie that I'm writing. Those are best. So you might have to come get yes. murdered or something like that. I'm down. I'm going gonna, I'm, I'm gonna to go for the uh, extra gore effect, you know, the Kill Bill kind of fucking thing. Nice. Yeah, those are, the, I mean... Those are the best, actually. I like gore movies. Yeah. Like I said, Han- Hannibal, or Cannibal, Hannibal. Cannibal, Cannibal Holocaust. Holocaust. And, you know, um, what's that, Hostel? Oh, gosh. I The Hostel was a, a little bit much for me. I, like, <laughs> I like Hostel, too. Up. Eli Roth is the best. Uh, what was the one that got me recently was Green Inferno. Oh, yes. I don't even like talking about that. I'm already just well, mentioning well, it. Well, that's... that's it's, I'm fucked up already by it. I mean, he, he, again, Cannibal Holocaust, he saw that movie and made his own version. And that's how Green Inferno came along. Oh, dude, when they're in that, I, I mean, spoiler alerts, man, but I mean, it's its a cannibal movie. When they're in that cage yes. watching their friend getting cut up into pieces and cooked, it was fuck. It's and you're gruesome. just like, oh, I am next. No. <laughs> oh, what a terrifying experience. It, those are movies, I mean, you have to really be into the gore and... Uh, from me doing all the judging for horror films, it, it's not just the gore part of it that makes it look at a horror film. You know, the writing, the acting ne- necessarily doesn't have to be that great, but it has to go with the flow. Um, I've I watched, I think, 40 films for this past year. For the Well, it was for uh, the Women in Horror Film Festival, and there's requirements like, I think... The writer, the director, the producer have to be women, and they're horror films. And again, not all horror films are scary. You know, you can have the B, C horror films like monster movies that are, you know, funny or slapstick horror. You know, Evil Dead originally was funny. So you yeah, know. I guess yeah. I mean the well, f- the original one though. Oh yeah. Man, that first that was one was so good. 
That was a fucked up movie. That's, I love that movie. That's so probably much. my um, hands down like yeah. favorite horror film. Like the remake is just ridiculous, and it's they, good. they turned it into slapstick. But then you show someone the first one, oh, and you're yeah. just like, "What the fuck am I watching? I thought this was, <laughs> I thought this is a spoof horror movie." Oh yeah, I mean yeah, the you got Evil Dead, and then Evil Dead Two, and then Army of Darkness, and yeah. then you know, but then when they redid um, Evil Dead, it was really I really enjoyed it. I mean it was, you know. Oh, yeah. Oh, kept yeah. it with the themes and everything and wasn't so slapstick. So I really I liked that. Yeah, I've been enjoying Bruce on the uh, on the new TV show, too, where they can just keep going forever. And they got Xena Warrior Princess, oh, Lucy know. Lawless. She's so, so freaking hot. She's like, I mean, come on. That girl's great. And she's killing it on that show. Uh, the two other characters, oh, man, I forgot their names, but the two other characters for um, on the Evil Dead Evil um, Ash versus Evil, they owe me lunch money. I bought them lunch and they oh, still really? owe me money. <laughs> Those sons of bitches! You're never. Yeah, I was never uh, giving right. that money back. I was, I was like, okay. And then I, um, I got to ha- sit down with Ted Raimi and talk Ooh, to him. Cool, cool. Uh, oh, really nice guy. Yeah. I was like, hey, dude. He's so happy to be there. I was like, oh, that's so cool. So I fangirled a little bit, and I don't really do that often, but I mean. Yeah, it's Ted Raimi. Every once in a while, every once in a every while, once in a while. you get that fangirl moment. I've I've gotten to do I have a couple fangirl moments in my life. Yeah. I don't get them too often because we get you know we meet so many people. So many people, time, yeah. You yeah, gotta act professional. Yeah, you gotta act pro. You gotta, but I mean, sometimes it's good. I I definitely almost passed out when I met Bruce Campbell. Yeah, I Bruce Campbell. I, I got mean, to be on his on. panel. He did uh, instead of you know being up there and talking for an hour or so. I was at like Wizard World, I think, um, and they were pulling pulling people up on stage, and then my friend pushed me out forward, and I just said, "Hey, I'm a Marine," you know, ah. and he was like, "Get your ass up there," and I was dressed. So awesome. I was dressed as Tank Girl. Oh, nice, good so, costume. Um, and yeah, I got to be honest. He gave me like five bucks, but then like. <laughs> Two years later, I was so broke, I had to spend the five bucks. Oh. <laughs> I, had to buy, I was so broke, I had to buy it, use it to buy lunch. Uh, I was like, oh, fuck, man. I was real like, life. Hey, yeah. You know, what are you going to do? I, ne- I needed the money. I needed I needed food. <laughs> That's what it's for. Money money is for food. I was so sad time. for a second, but I was like, oh, I got autographs, and I have a life-size cutout of him. <laughs> Yeah, you got the memories. All, yeah. you know, all you really ever get to have is the memories, you know. That's the one thing they can't take from you. Well, yeah. Oh, it's nice. It's still on video and stuff. I got the pictures. I was like, oh, yay. But it's been it's been fun doing all the co- um, comic book conventions. Oh, yeah. I love that shit. I, uh, I've only gotten to go to a couple. I got to do, I got to do Rock and Shock with Cracker Man. That was a lot oh, of fun. That's nice. But uh, we were talking about that yesterday with Jerry, and I got to meet a bunch of... Uh, bunch of old horror movie people there was there's there's just so many they just oh, hanging yeah. out signing autographs it's, oh, yeah. it's, it's so much fun all the all the horror freaking monsters from your youth i got to uh meet john landis and uh, rick baker you know oh see i know rick baker for sure john yeah. landis is and uh i'm trying to think of who john landis is and it's probably a star wars person no know. no it's it's uh, american werewolf in paris oh okay rick baker was uh, american yeah. werewolf yeah. but he was also stood the star wars too correct yeah yeah yeah, yeah. I, i'm kind of geeking out on rick baker because like oh, i was saying so, I'm, he's so nice I'm, I'm uh i'm gearing up to start doing a, a really shitty horror movie you know that's gonna yes. just be gory as fuck so like I, I i'm i'm looking at a lot of fun special effects makeup that people are doing it's so much fun oh yeah I, uh, I, it's gonna be a blast i did special effects makeup for a haunt one year oh really yeah with uh, uh nicola crew uh no nicole shillelagh was her maiden name um, she won, um, what's the FX show? Oh, man. Face Off. She won Face Off, season three. Oh, right, 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 yeah. right. Yeah. Right, so like they make all the masks. Yeah, so I worked with her um, her team, and I was like the blood splatter specialist person. And, oh, like, nice. and then I'd help do l- the latex. So that was really fun. Um, yeah, I've done so much stuff with the horror films. <laughs> I love it. I mean, that's why I get the moniker Creepy Queen, you know, because I always have my hand in something that has to do with horror films or the horror community. Um, it's just, it's a really loving community, too. It's like, no matter where you go, you're going to meet someone that, like, it has their hands in film. So, like, you know, they're making movies all the time. 
hey, I need a final, I need a final girl. I need, you know, Scream Queen and getting called to do that and, you know, or being murdered the first scene. You of know, course. So. I'm always down to get murdered. Oh, yeah. I'm yeah. always down. I'll make, I'll make a cameo. Spray blood all over the place. Let's do this. Yeah. Do the cameo. Fine. And, yeah, it's been, it's been fun. Like, just meeting all these people and, uh, like I said, I mean, like Rick Baker and, and you know, idols. Dude, Rick Baker. That's a cool um, one. I'm really a big fan of Rick Baker's work. Um, I this fun story time. I got to do hot tubbing with um, the remake Michael Myers. Oh, really? Uh, Tyler Maine. Um, we I was putting on a, a it was oh, what Comic Con was it? Oh, I'm a little far away. Um, what, what Comic Con? Santa Cruz, Santa Santa Rosa Comic Con, and he was a guest, and I was one of the guests, and um, we met up with the, my friend Mike who like put, puts it on and they were out drinking and you know we went and hung out and then we came we we're like okay well we're gonna go back to the resort and he's like well can can i come <laughs> i was like well you're staying at the resort yeah dude you know like i was like we're just going to hot tubbing and he's like okay so it, it was straight out of the scene from a movie where his because he's like six seven seven foot and he had his hair and his beard and I was like, I'm gonna get murdered, and this is so cool. <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, but and then, like, fast forward a year later, I get a random uh, drunk phone call and voicemail from him and my friend Mike, saying, "Where are you at? We're here drinking." And I'm like, I wish I saved it, but I didn't. And I was like, Oh, eh. I get that late night booty call from the serial killer. Oh no, he's married, but he was just like, he was sto- so stoked because he was like, "Oh, you're a marine," so there's pictures of us like. Acting uh, like we're fighting. Nice. Well, he also was uh, Sabretooth in the first um, X Men. Oh, oh, yeah, 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 that's yeah. right. Before Liv Schreiber or whatever his name is took over. You Liv, yeah, Liv Schreiber, right? That's right. But he was Sabretooth in that first X. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And then he did. Probably was. I was just thinking because it's the same topic of the Michael Myers, um, the kid, the guy who played the kid. Um, of the young Michael Myers, I forgot his real name, but uh, <laughs> we did a con, and I had a my booth was next to him, and he kept trying to get me to listen to his rap music. Oh really? <laughs> he had rap so music. Bad. Oh shit, man! I would have taken that right oh, away. Oh man, it was. I love when someone hands me their original. Oh, music. oh no, we were listening to it for the uh, whole all weekend. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh no, I fucking rock that stuff. Oh, I, I hyped him up. I was like, oh, this is so good, it's so good, and I was like, okay, oh, not really. Yeah, definitely hype him up though. Oh yeah, no, made him you feel know. good. Encourage the shit out of that. Oh yeah, make more art, dude. Dude. Yeah. I was Fuck like, yeah, I was like this sounds doing good. That, you know. Plus, I love that. Just like you hear so much good music you know when you hear something that's like not to be a dick but like bad it's bad it's bad you know you're just like oh man i you you tried real hard on this but this is fucking awful and you can appreciate how he's oh he was down for it yeah he was was so proud and i was like oh no i'm gonna make sure he knows that like okay cool keep putting music out there yeah even though it's, it's like bad you, you want to make fun of Con- you know you kanye or something like that but it's like oh listen to that album you know mm-hmm. what i mean it's not easy to do that kind of stuff you it's know you not. might think it is it's not. but man you know they got some talent when they're putting that stuff together and I- all you got to do is listen to the 20 other people that think they can do the same thing exactly and you're just like oh man i mean he's still putting i'm still seeing his like little instagram things and i'm like all right kid you got it <laughs> you got it like a little weirdo. Uh, but I do like it sometimes, though. Yeah. You know, and especially if I'm on a road trip, and I'm uh, I, I I'm adamant about giving musicians like a just a buck. If you're on the side of the road, uh, you know, like not on the side of the road or anywhere, you know, in a hotel, fucking playing guitars, singing cover songs. Oh yeah. Put a dollar in that dude's bucket, man. Dude. I mean, it's a dollar. That guy carried all that gear down there, and he's performing live for you, so you don't have to listen to pop music over oh fucking gosh, yeah. ceiling speakers. And it's like it, that dollar means so much to that person. And buy one of their Busters, CDs. Yeah, the I CD mean, on the on the drive home. You know what I mean? That it CD in. is <laughs> the best thing ever. <laughs> I love that uh, shit. Yeah, so good, it, good, bad. Especially if it's bad, it's then it's fucking great. That's great. Oh yeah, the best, like worst horror films ever. The best horror films ever. 
you know. Yo, exact, exactly. It's the exact like, same thing, right? Yeah, you know, the worse, the better it is. The better it is. Um. Yeah. <laughs> I've been enjoying um, like the the royalty free or the. Um, you know, uh, which is really, that, that explains it funny. Uh, the, the, we're on YouTube. You can watch old fucking black and white horror oh, yeah. movies and uh, public domain. That's the Pub, word yeah. I was looking for. And uh, holy shit, they are bad. And oh, yeah. man, it's just, it, but they're great to watch, especially like first thing in the morning, you know, and it's just like you don't give a shit what's you, on. And you're just, is this really a scene you gotta that watch they the shot? Show Did they do pre production for this? Did this get planned out at all? Or did they just like go into the woods with some cameras oh, yeah. and wing ding this thing? And then they're like, we got to fucking cut something together. <laughs> you know, like where the fuck do they get the idea for this shit? It's oh, what, oh, like, so uh, even on the sh- creepy coffee movie time is uh, like I said, it's sci- some sci-fi movies as well. I love so those ones. Y- so you have like where you could see the stream coming, you know, with the big monster movie and the Gamora uh, camera and it's so bad but it's so good if you can see the string oh yeah it, i'm all about that I'll, oh yeah i kind of want to do that in my movies you know you what i mean like the production in the just know. yeah like try like especially if i'm probably giving away some of my uh, dumbass <laughs> ideas that i'm gonna do. steal my stupid fucking ideas either <laughs> dumb as shit but like go do like a real effort on some fucking cgi but then also throw in that little bit of wire bullshit. Strings and the, the wire strings the and the monsters. That. Yeah, you can see zippers on the suits, <laughs> and it's, uh, it's just like clearly, you, you know, a it's for so effort, bad. I guess, guys. But you know, you you really fucking suck at your job, yeah. and, and just have that be part of the movie. It's, and it's, it's a so mess. Good. Just make it a mess. I love a mess. I think everybody loves a mess. Yes. Yeah. yeah. I think that's the sh- basically our show. Um, it's just a, a mess of culture and weird movies and sci- like oh like our science time like one episode is like double penises like that skit like it's so random but it, it was science and like I don't know how to explain it but it was just yeah they would show like double penises no, and then now are you talking about like him I penises from like a snake or like or like a human being that has Two wieners, yeah, the human right? Being. Or, or are you talking about those sexual deviants that? Well, or you know, I mean, hey man, to, to each their own. Yeah. Fucking deviants, kind of. I don't mean to be na- derogative to these people, but the guys that hot dog their wiener, or they cut oh, it in half, no, no, and they split their wiener into two. Oh yeah, oh. No, so we're talking about people that have that were, two that were penises. Born. Yeah, that were born. Okay, okay. So there was, yeah, there was a segment like that, and it, I mean, it was gross. Oh, God, just thought about <laughs> penises. <laughs> always uh, a great segue. Always a great segue. Um, we had an incident while we were filming um, an episode. Um, so we have our main our main characters, um, Balrock and No Name, and they're sitting down, you know, they're reading their, their script and everything and talking about the movie, um, which is what we do instead of commercials. It's us in between. And as girls are like on step stools so we're a little bit higher so we're in the camera view and we look and we're looking into the audience and because we'd film in front of a live audience and we see this lady we're wearing chain mail only chain mail shirt <laughs> and a skirt and her dude and her are touching each other Sexually, oh, that's fantastic. While we're filming, while you're, yeah. and we can't stop the, f- we can't be like, I hey, know what I mean? you it know, creepy copy movie time. And that's the kind of people we, you know, we yeah. we attracted, and I mean, it's weird. Um, but yeah, so they're all touching each other, and we, we can't, st- we we're talking like you can see in the episode us girls just telling each other, and cracking up because we can't do anything. Uh, we can't just be like, hey, Mark, stop the production. Yeah. Like, ah, mess it up. Let's re- let them have their fun. We taped you know? three episodes. Ooh, of- oh God. Oh yeah. And then they denied it. But we got we had they denied pi- it. we had pictures because they one of the ladies yeah. our friend Blossom took pictures of the show. And she turned around and took pictures of it as proof. And <laughs> That's amazing. And we had to ask them nicely to leave the studio. Yeah, could you stop, uh, you know, finger bl- <laughs> finger blasting each other in public? Yeah. <laughs> you know, that's a uh, there's a there's a 
gender neutral ba- bathroom eh, they, just down the corner. You know, and those people get off on that stuff and while well, I go at it but don't do it in front of a wife's a bunch of people filming a TV show. <laughs> it was it was so awkward. <laughs> but uh, I loved filming that TV show. I like when people get naked at my shows personally. <laughs> Not that it's happened <laughs> that often. But occasionally, people have gotten butt ass naked and danced Just around in the mosh pit at some fucking of our, some of our punk rock shows, and those are fantastic. Oh moments. yeah, I mean they're trying to be next Gigi Allen or something. They're just drunk. They're, just I mean, drunk. they're having a good time, you know. And uh, mm. and sometimes it gets a little hot out there, you know. You it gotta, does. Got to cool off. Got to cool it's off. A really good way to. to <laughs> <laughs> I just cool off real quick. Yeah, spin around and clear the pit out though. That's for damn sure. <laughs> uh, uh, they're like, all it. of a sudden, I don't feel like smashing against uh, <laughs> a bunch of dudes anymore no. for some reason. No more. Oh, penis out. <laughs> Wieners out, everybody. Wieners, Wieners out. out. That's the way you do it at a fucking Cracker Man show. <laughs> we had a lot of fun. It was at a Cracker Man show. Oh yeah. All the good, all the good all stories, the good stories. <laughs> happened. I Cracker Man shows. I gotta, I gotta do another band like that where I just fucking, ugh, smash bases and <laughs> you know, there's nothing better than smashing a fucking bass and then uh, you know just moshing because you have no bass to play. You, yeah, you're like, ah, oh, the instrument's gone. Okay, it's part of my performance. What do I do now? Come on, you know, don't don't take it so personally. It's fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. But it was fun landing in the city and going to the uh, the pawn shops saying, fuck you, I'm uh, I- I'm smashing this base in like three hours. You know, <laughs> like, it, like, like I'll give you 50 bucks for it. 50 bucks, yeah. Fucking, you know, I'm not even. I mean, now streets. here there's. <laughs> They're like trying to haggle with me like I like I want the base. Yeah. I'm like, I don't want I, this base. I don't. I'm only here because it's a cheap piece of shit. I mean, uh, at least out here you can find a lot of those. Oh yeah, no. I had a I had a buddy out here. He he would he would hook me up. He'd be like, oh, another cheap piece of shit came in, Jason. Come grab it. <laughs> like, I'd have right, like sweet. a couple of us sitting in the corner, just waiting for the next show. Yeah. God damn it, there. that was fun. I should do it again. I haven't been to a, a concert in a long time, let alone a good one. Yeah. Hopefully, my Primus band starts playing again. Yeah. I've been hearing rumors about it, and people have been talking about wanting to pay us some money to play some shows, maybe? I don't yeah. Know. I don't know. That'd be good. Yeah, that'd be nice to get out and fucking play something. I'd like to play some fucking bass. I have a few friends that can come. Right. <laughs> At least out here. I'm working on it. Uh, you know, people like Primus show, you know, yeah. it's e- especially with the tribute, because you, 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 you win either way. It's yeah, like you it's show tribute. up and, and we play well. And you're like, damn, they just played Primus, you know? Yeah. Like, okay, good. It's good. Good on, good on you guys. Good on <laughs> yeah. you, you know? We're you, so you, proud. You practiced a little bit, you know? Or we blow it, and then you get to, everybody just gets to fucking crack jokes on us all yeah. night, and like, you fucking idiots, what do you think was going to happen? <laughs> it's a you win-win. Know? It's a win-win for it's you. A win-win. It's a either, it's, it's a train wreck either way, you know? Because even if we play it right, Primus is a fucking train wreck. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Which is why it's all so much fun. It's so much fun. I like good shows. Good shows like that. Oh yeah, it's a blast. Yeah. I was talking to uh, I was talking to a couple other friends who have some pretty solid, uh, interesting tributes in town. So <laughs> we might be breaking out that big ass PA of mine and, and those lights I bought and setting up a stage somewhere. You know, we'll f- it's this fucking coronavirus. Let's go, oh God. Let us have a gathering of some sort. <sighs> Not more than five people. Not, well, I mean, <laughs> that's usually our crowd size, I so I mean, I think we'll be in good shape, good you know. Shape. We don't usually bring more than five or six people to our shows. Good handful. You know, you got like my mom, my brother, you know, my brother's girlfriend. I could show you up. You know, the neighbor might come, my Ray. girlfriend, Ray will come, my, you know, you know my girlfriend, Ray. Yeah, my, uh, my girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> Ray is my uh, brother. Uh, that is, uh, yes, Ray is... Ray's Melissa's brother, also my best friend. We ha- we've we happened to have known each other for 25, 25 years. 25 years, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You're the longest person, longest friend that I've had. Y- you are also the longest friend I have had. We we, start, we were in class together when yeah. we were... Right? I, we, well, I think we first we met at the park, Dentoni yes. Park. Dentoni's Park. We went fucking Stockton, playing at Dentoni Park. California. Right when I pulled into town in the U-Haul, we were like, we want to go check that park out. And we made you, friends. Were, you were there. I was like, oh, it's 10 years old. I was like, this little albino kid. 
and then all friends. of a sudden you're in my class <laughs> and, and we've known each other for fucking 25 years and then we're in high school yeah fast forward we're in high school to, uh, junior high and then high school oh my god and that, then now we're we're all grown up <laughs> something like that we, pre- we pretend same, to be you going know? to the same party for the last 20 years the government considers us to be grown ups we're, we're grown up you know yeah. unfortunately on paper try not to be though yeah. No, yeah, that's what we're doing here. That's why that's why we're here. <laughs> yeah, hanging out, talking the shit. Uh the podcast is fun. I enjoy doing the podcast. I think this I is know. gonna be a good I think this is gonna work out nicely, you know. Once all this equipment's figured out and worked out nice and, and not fucking up. It seems to be doing pretty good so far. And we seem to be stable. Yes. So I'm pretty excited about that. Uh yeah. I uh I expected something to have crashed by now. Boom! There it all goes, right? Exactly. Yep. yep. It worked out. Yeah, it was working out pretty good. I appreciate you coming and helping me set all this stuff up, it's scooching furniture around and <laughs> everything like that. We uh, My muscles. We did a little bit of rearranging. Yeah, your your uh, marine muscles. My marine muscles. I all wish I had muscles. those again. <laughs> right, yeah, well, we were just talking about it. We were just talking about I it. Know. Start running around the block. Start running again. You know what I'm going to do? Because I've turned my house into this nightmare. <laughs> I'm going to start running my mile, and then I'm going to go, hey, I brought my pull-up bar. I need somewhere to... <laughs> yeah, I know. I, got I space. need somewhere to work out, Melissa. I got space in my, like, my house. Fuck, I guess I'll work out with you. I was just uh, going from Portland to here, and the the change of like how much it costs to live out here is way different. So... I went from a one bedroom small ass apartment in downtown Portland to a nice solid house. So I feel like I'm grown up. A nice solid house, 0.7 miles that <laughs> way. <laughs> I had to move. Here. I had to move really close to them. <laughs> we got uh, we got my mom across the street. We got used 0.7 miles point, that yeah. way. My homie Justin lives in the same block right there. We're just setting everyone up to be in the same area. I just got to get Chad and uh, Chad and Ray out here, man. We'll have the you know, the tribe going on. Yeah. Fucking Anthony will move his kids in and down the street. And I know. Then none of us left to drive anywhere to see each other. Exactly. It'll be easier. I mean, technically, I mean, I drove here today, but I could have walked. Yeah, you literally could have walked. I know. But I'm going somewhere after, so. Right. I kind of like that idea now. I kind of like that idea. I think I think you might be in trouble. Yeah. I, yeah, yeah. I might have to bring, like, some well, dumbbells to your house and a pull-up bar and just be like, you can make hey, I ran a mile, and now I'm going to work out over here. <laughs> and you're going to a spare bedroom. You know, I can turn that into a gym. Come, uh, come work out with me. You know, that works out. we can, uh, we can get. I need to get our fucking pool bodies together for the summer for yes. all the pool parties that are going to be going oh, on. Oh yeah, I'm you ready know? for that. Especially with the coronavirus, I guess that means it's just going to be barbecuing and fucking pool parties at the house. Pretty much. I mean, I don't think there, there's everything's being canceled. So <laughs> right. I mean, I'm an introvert enough, but still, I'm like, okay, well, there goes the one thing I was going to do for the year. Fuck. Should take advantage of that keg and just throw keggers every fucking weekend. Yeah. I want a keg. Get oh. creative with this shit. Let's see what we I can know. do. Try We're going to fucking hustle something out here. Goddamn <laughs> coronavirus. <laughs> Taking all the goddamn monies away. All the money, all the work. I don't even know what to do. Yeah, well, you know, we podcast. So yeah. we podcast. And we make weird videos and get, you know, we figure it out. New How? little uh, fucking avenues to fucking make money. Excuse me. I'm burping. Burping over there. Is that coffee? Ah, uh, we did have a little bit of coffee after lunch. Yeah. Yeah, that was fun going downtown or uh, to Town Square, wandering around. We that was nice. There. It was a nice little. I nope. mean, we talked about mostly what we were going to talk about in the podcast. So right. So, like <laughs> that, that, you know, two-hour window we could have <laughs> we could have put on camera, uh, but next time we'll just have to bring something right? with us. I'll bring a little mm-hmm. mobile recorder, mobile video recorder with yeah. us. I mean, you know, you see the shows uh, on Travel Channel. Everyone's out and about, having fun, eating food. Right. Yeah. That's definitely, we should have, uh, we should have definitely planned for that. Do a weird. Do a- the podcast on the road. You know, I see those videos that are popular, the ASMR of people eating. And do those. The El- <laughs> God, it's so gross. <laughs> like, one, I want to uh, know how, like, they can afford, like, the big ass, like, steaks and seafood i'm like oh god 
That's so gross to watch. Uh, but people like it. Right. I mean, there's a niche for everything, so this podcast should, you know, launch and Yeah, we'll see. Get to where it needs to be. We'll see. We're going to be doing some fun stuff with some guns and some uh, yes. river rafting and some cool hiking adventures and uh, jumping out of planes, maybe, oh, scuba diving. Oh. I want to go um, There's going to be a lot of shit coming again. up, so we are gonna, uh, we're going to figure out a fucking way to uh, live, it, live it to the fullest, I tell you, Amon. There you go. I'll tell you what. Go. It's gonna be a good time. Yeah, <laughs> very good time. I want to go shooting guns. I haven't done that since I've been in. No, really. Yeah. Well, you should definitely come shooting guns. We got some guns out here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I have some friends. Yeah, you know people. I I I I know some people who have some pretty cool guns. Know people. That uh yeah that w- they'll they'll let us shoot them. Sweet. Yeah, that'll be a good time. We're going to do a safety lesson first, though. Of, of course. course. Of course. I mean, yeah. Safety first. Always. I'm, I mean, I miss shooting. I used to train reservists um, in really. the Marines to, yeah, to shoot guns on the rifle range. That's it's awesome. a lot of just laying down in the field with their gun, sh- like, <laughs> zoomed in, you know, looking at the barrel, shooting barrel. <laughs> it's pretty much what you do when you fall asleep and arm gets all, you know, lazy and stuff. But it's fun. I'm I miss it. Yeah. Actually, yeah. Yeah, I haven't shot uh, guns in the. Well, no, that's not true. <laughs> that's not true. I always shoot some guns the other day, just for fun. Just for fun. But uh, besides that, I mean, yeah, it has been a while since I've gotten out there fucking shooting. So, but it's it's gonna be a good uh, podcast, that's for sure. Hopefully, we bring some uh, some pretty fun. I mean, with how many people we know and different like walks of life i think it we can get some good things on here you can get some good things oh yeah there's a lot of good stuff uh that we've planned and uh i've been getting uh, a lot of uh messages from on facebook of all kinds of people uh, oh yeah i saw that yeah like people think- coming in with some books on some science books and uh you got some uh pe- some veterinarians coming in you know they're trying to they're helping out uh dogs and uh yeah and like i said all the adventure stuff that we're going to be doing it's gonna be a lot of fun. yeah it's gonna be a lot every of walks of life getting them in there yeah yeah it'll be a little bit of this a little bit of that get a doctor to talk about the double penises you know doctors <laughs> to talk about double penises <laughs> would be amazing I, i'm hoping to get a few more uh serious intellectuals uh, on the show so i can maybe get a, a few like maybe professors or something yeah. from the university on the show because I really, those are always my favorites. Those I mean, are, obviously, yeah, yeah. I'm a fan of people like Joe Rogan, you know, who's inspired me to do stuff like this. And he, anytime he has physicists, you know, or, it's so you good, know, though. Like an astrobiologist on there, that can, you know, uh, it's just amazing. Just, it's amazing. I like, you the know, philosophy, how, it's, it's just, oh, it's those good. are my favorites. I never miss them. I like, you know, some of them, he gets them high and then they talk for days and it's just, it's great. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we get the when he did Elon Musk and got him stoned. <laughs> oh, that was great. I was, uh, <laughs> I was really happy to see Elon Musk take two seconds out of his insane life oh, and God, yeah. take a puff of some weed because <laughs> if anybody deserves a break, that guy does. That day. Yep. That guy's freaking crazy. You know <laughs> what I mean? Like, he just does not stop. I don't know how he gets it done. He's Super a, he's impressive. He's a robot. Yeah, you know. It's probably. I mean, he's, he's the savior of humanity. That's who that guy is, man. He's going he's gonna to change everything for us. Without that dude, you know, it's going to be 50 years behind going to Mars. And uh, the reusable rocket systems, the electric cars, and the, the friggin' all the stuff he's done for solar power, the tunnels he's doing. He's Fucking me. Elon Musk. It's, what yeah. an amazing human being. I he's just, just think that looking. guy's incredible. <laughs> he's awesome. Yeah. 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 Definitely. Uh, we're maybe, lucky to maybe you can get him, him on around. there. Yeah, right. Uh, I'm sure Elon <laughs> has time to come talk to me. He was like, oh, who's this fucking Joe Rogan guy? You know? and he went, yes, I, <laughs> yeah. I, don't, I don't have time to listen to know. fucking podcasts or go on podcasts. I'm like, it'll be, it'll be good for your it'll be good. It'll be good for your PR. And then yeah. uh, all of a sudden he loses his, <laughs> loses his company over it. And he's like, you oh, fucking asshole. Good. I can't believe you told me to go on that stupid podcast ever again. Never again. again. Yeah. Maybe. Maybe more interesting than me now. No, no, no. You're a very interesting person. You've done all kinds of fun stuff. Yeah, yeah. We can uh, 
we can uh, wrap it up. It's been a good one. We did a solid 45 already. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And it says here we're at like 60 gigabytes of information. I'm going to make sure to get a uh, external hard drive that has a lot of space on it for us to record just in case they start going longer. Oh, yeah. But, uh, yeah, no, I know you got uh, places to be. I mean, I kept you here all day <laughs> long, screwing around, testing uh, all kinds of stuff with me. I really appreciate everything of you did course. for me. It has been a great time talking to you. We're going to have to have you on again. Yes. And happy uh, Friday the 13th. Yep, we're going to go see a scary movie. Ah, uh, see, we got to put a scary movie on tonight. That's what yes. we got to do, definitely. An old scary movie. Yes. Well, that's why I'm going to go see, um, well, it's into the, you know, the basic monster the early monster movies yeah uh, the invisible man even though that's you know completely not the same thing but we're gonna go check it out see if it's good yeah, yeah. it's a new one is universal doing that i don't remember i thought they canceled their whole that's yeah that's they they're not doing it anymore like the you know yeah i mean they, Cause the first they one fucked off. up they, the mummy up. They fucked the mummy up so bad it was like, oh, fuck it. Yeah. I mean, yeah. we have to do Creature from the Black Lagoon again, but I don't. That yeah. would be nice to see. I think of all of them, Creature deserves a remake. Yeah. Because I mean, the rest of them have gotten like 20,000 remakes. But well, I mean, nobody ever does Creature. I think look, they're getting away from that because they tried Swamp Thing. Swamp Thing was way cooler. And so since I they did Swamp, Swamp Thing, Thing and redid that. Um, who's who's better, though, Swamp Thing or Toxic Avenger? Oh, I think Toxic Avenger. Toxic Avenger was pretty... Uh, it was pretty good. That shit was pretty graphic. Pretty graphic indeed, I'm you know what I mean? Very much an adult. <laughs> Tromaville High. Yeah. <laughs> and they're both really good. But. Yeah. Well, that's great. Well, I really appreciate having you on here. And, uh, you know, definitely, uh, why don't you do us a couple couple plugs before you get out of here? you got your Instagram page and uh, you got your shows you're doing. Yeah. You're doing. So on Amazon, um, you can look up Creepy Coffee Movie Time, and that's coffee, K-O-F-F-E-E. And also Circus of Chaos, uh, which is on YouTube. And then my Instagram is Melissa LaRue, so that's... LaRue, like L-A-R-O-U-E. Nice, and I'll uh, I'll make sure that they can see all that on the screen, and it'll also be uh, hanging out in the descriptions on the bottom. All that fun stuff, you know, I'll, uh, I'll learn how to use YouTube, I promise. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know how to do it. So, but thank you, and everyone support your local horror community. That's awesome. Thank you. You have a great one, and have Friday the 13th. Bye.